the court and with the Warriors, their ability to score in bunches really is unmatched throughout the league. They'll be going along with the team, and then all of a sudden they have that 20-point lead in like three minutes. It can happen so fast that I think at times the other teams are shell-shocked. All right, let's set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, the sharpshooters Curry and Thompson are at the one and the two. Offense and defense with Durant and Draymond at the three and the four. And it's Cousins in at the five down low. Knocks down the three ball. And talking about the Warriors and their ability to build a lead very quickly. The shooting they have, Greg, is a very big part of how they can just bury a team. It is. They're shooting, especially from deep, but also their defense. One kind of feeds the other in terms of how they can steamroll teams and create that momentum. And only the special teams can put a game away with a five-minute run, but this is one that has consistently done it over the last three years. The Warriors shooting their first free throw of the contest. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line, about 79% of their free throws. Now here's Westbrook. He kicks it to Patterson. Smith outside. Patterson a screen on green. Here's Smith, and it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. Well, J.R. Smith can just be deadly coming off a screen like that, guys. Curry with it. Westbrook picks him up. Cousins with a screen on Westbrook. On its way from Curry for two, and it's Golden State with another. Here's Smith. He's got five. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Now the feed to Westbrook. Back to Smith. Fires the three. Good. A nice assist from Westbrook. And it's eight points for Smith. Oh, JR has no problem drilling a shot from that kind of range. Curry dishes to Cousins. It's Curry with the drive. And no good. Good D by Westbrook. Oklahoma City's gone two of two from three point range here in the first quarter. George with the ball. Passes it to Patterson. And that misses. That would have put him up. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Thompson outside. Another three for Golden State. Well, the long-range game is just superb. Clay Thompson has built his career on its ability to shoot with range. Outside Westbrook, the shot by George, wide open. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Boy, the offense is really clicking. Four for five from the field to start. Nice. And Cousins kicks to Durant. Green with a screen on George. Durant with it. Now Smith defending. And J.R. Smith picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Thunder making a switch here. Corbis checked in. Here's Thompson. That one's not going to go. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. From deep, George. And the Thunder another three. Well, gorgeous release on the shot. Paul George is a confident shooter from anywhere. Cousins with a screen for Curry. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Cousins, no good. The only way he doesn't finish is if the defense gets in his face. Nice job. Corver kicks to Patterson. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. It's Durant on the wing. He dishes it to Cousins. Back to Durant. Shot to stop the run. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Yeah, Kevin Durant makes that dunk look easy. He's so big, you can't do anything about it. Corver kicks to Patterson. And the three off target. Warriors trail by three. Curry with it. Westbrook picks him up. Curry passes to Thompson. 13 feet away. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Thompson's got five now. 
Well, I'll tell you, Steph Curry almost as accurate as a passer as he is as a shooter, and that's saying something, Kevin. Here's Westbrook and Oklahoma City again with the bucket. I'll tell you, you're not going to find a much more confident basketball player. He always believes the points are going to come. Boy, what about last season for Russell Westbrook? Not only the numbers he put up, but the jaw-dropping plays he delivered, and he helped this Thunder team to a season where many thought they'd be out of the playoff picture. He gets them into the playoffs. Incredible journey. And George gets it to go. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Curry dishes to Durant. Thompson for the triple. Another three for Golden State. The Thunder with the lead. Now Westbrook. Pass to Patterson. In the corner. George with it. Wing shot on the way. Again, the Thunder score. Boy, he has exploded. You couldn't ask for a better quarter from a guy. Curry kicks to Thompson. Shoots over Korver. And Thompson gets it to go in on the assist by Curry. And that's now 10 points for Clay Thompson. George against Durant. George passes to Westbrook. Back to George. A three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Now, Paul George is a phenomenal catch-and-shoot guy. Measures the shot before receiving the pass. It's hard to guard. Here's Green. Here's Curry with the three. And another three for Golden State. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Westbrook dishes to George. Adams with the screen on Durant. Here's Patterson. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Patterson's got his second basket of the game. Well, I think the concentration of Patrick Patterson, the most impressive part of that shot. I mean, that defender had a hand in his face, and he doesn't let it impact him. Now here's Green. Curry kicks to Cousins. Green the screen. Cousins the pass to Durant. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Corver against Curry. Kicks it to Westbrook. Corver sets the screen for Westbrook. Back to Corver. Adams with the screen on Curry. Just five on the clock. Patterson with it. Now Green defending. A three-pointer is right on target. And it's a six-point Oklahoma City lead. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Curry kicks to Green. Now the dish to Cousins. Green, the screen. The wide-open look for Durant. That doesn't go either for Durant. The defense lost him there, and he should have made him pay. Westbrook kicks to Corver. Screen by Adams. Back to Westbrook, the tray, and the three ball is good. Westbrook's got five. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. Westbrook against Curry. The screen from Thompson. Cousins with a screen on Westbrook. Curry kicks to Green. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. He's got five. Wow, we're accustomed to seeing Draymond Green make the pass, but how about that catch-and-shoot delivery? Nice. Westbrook dishes to Adams. Pass to Corver. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Patterson can't get it to go. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Thompson. He's got ten. From past the arc, the Thunder pull it in. Outside Corver, this is to Westbrook. The pass to Adams. Corver against Curry. Feeds to George. George double teamed, 
Westbrook wide open. He fired. And that basket pushes the lead to double digits. The defense a step slow. Timeout, and timeout. You can see the results. And the Warriors decide to take their first timeout here. I think, guys, very few teams can compete with Oklahoma City when it comes to controlling the glass. Great rebounders at every position. They're going to fight for boards on both ends of the floor. A different look for Oklahoma City. Noel's checked in for Patterson. Felton comes in for Kyle Corver. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Golden State also making some changes. Bell is checked in for Cousins. Yurebko comes in for Green. And it's Igudala in for Kevin Durant. Felton the pass to George. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. And the Thunder and the rebounding finished first in the NBA last season in rebounds per game. And it starts with Russell Westbrook. But everyone on this team is committed to getting anything that comes off that iron. They get a ton of extra chance points because of their offensive rebounding. It's really hard to go small and get away with it against Oklahoma City. And it's good two points. Adams has got his first bucket in this one. Well, the size and the frame of Steven Adams is flat out intimidating. A high percentage scorer around the blocks. One thirty-three left to play here in the first. Curry kicks to Bell. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got six assists in the game. Boy, he's able to get to the hoop, Kev, because of that great, solid screen. Outside, George. And the Thunder, another three. And really, that's what built the early lead here. Killer shooting from beyond. You know, I'm surprised the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. You know, that's their preferred weapon tonight. Shot from 16. And there's the foul. That's on Steven Adams. That's his first foul. Warriors trail by 12. Curry kicks to Yarebko. On the wing, Thompson. He's covered by Felton. Felton against Thompson. Inside, Bell uses the glass to finish the layup. Boy, how about that look from Clay Thompson for a player known for his shooting? That passing, very special. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. There's a screen by Noel. Schroeder up top. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Igudala outside. The 17-footer. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Well, what a great look by Andre Igudala. We know he's unselfish. If there's space for his guy, he's going to find him. Paul George, he's been the guy. The Thunder leading by 10. Setting the floor for the Warriors. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay in the backcourt. Jonas Yarebko out there with Bell, and it's Igudala in at the three slot. Golden State's gone five of ten from downtown tonight, 50% exactly. And there's the feed to Yarebko. They set the pick. Shot clock at five. Here's Bell at balls. Nice feed that time from Andre Igudala. Bell's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Warriors. Oklahoma City shooting has been sensational, 75% for the game. Here's Adams. Not enough on that one as it misses. Oh, a lapse defensively, and they actually get away with it. Bad idea to leave him open consistently, though. Curry dishes to Thompson. Buries it from three-point range. Thompson's got 18 points. Boy, and when Clay Thompson gets cooking, it is really fun to watch. Remember, this guy set the record for most points in a quarter. Put a hearty 37 on the defense. There's a screen by Noel. Smith right side. Missed the shot. He's three for four in the game. Warriors trail by five. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. 
Here Rebko, the pass to Curry. To the wing on the left. Passes it to Igudala. Curry is inside. He's guarded by Schroeder. Well, that's not easy to box out like that. It's just great footwork, and that gave him just the time he needed. When Curry is on the floor, you can just see how he impacts the play. Even when he doesn't have the ball, defenders can't help off too far, or he'll make them pay. Doris, I've seen defenders give up an open layup just not to give Curry a clean look from deep. Well, that's why the stat sheet doesn't tell the entire story relative to the influence Steph Curry has on the outcome of the game. The commitment required to cover Curry allows opportunities for other people on his team. Outside for Felton. They get it back. Noel. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. They get Stephen Curry. And you know, guys, listen. Noel brings value. The reason he's a menace on the defensive end and an absolute warrior on the glass. The Thunder shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. That's good from Noel. Doris, a lot of great catch and shoot players in this league, but who's the best right now at creating space for his shot off the dribble? I'd say, respectively, the point guards that we saw in the NBA Finals, Steph Curry and Kyrie Irving. And they go about their business a little bit differently. Obviously, it's the handle of Kyrie Irving and his ability to not only navigate tight spaces, but his ability to finish with both hands and the creativity and the English sometimes necessary for Steph Curry. It's the majesty and the danger of guarding the three-point shot, which then he combines with that ability to shake and bake and go off the dribble really tough contains both of them. I, I like how you mentioned the finish because the finish sometime you can get in there and make it look great but you can't get the two. It's you got to put the points on the board baby. <laughs> <laughs> Smith kicks it over to Schroeder. Adams sets the pick for Schroeder. He feeds it to Noel. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Noel's got four points this quarter. Well, six foot eleven Nerlens Noel so efficient down deep, working his magic thanks to that great size. Yeah, yeah, you go for the steal, but at least you do get the deflection. Well, Greg, you, you make them reset their offense, right? It's disrupting their rhythm. Thompson against Felton. Baseline J on the way. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Thompson. Well, Clay Thompson can score at all three levels, doing work in the mid range right now. Screen by Adams. Noel, a screen on Curry. They set the pick. Schroeder dishes to Felton. Six to shoot. There's a screen by Noel. And David West gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Patterson, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Now, here's Felton. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Noel passes to Schroeder. This one for three. It's rebounded by West. Warriors trail by seven. Curry with it. Now Felton defending. They double-team Curry. From deep, Igudawa. And another three for Golden State. Well, Iguodala gets himself squared up before shooting. You can't give him that kind of space. Felton kicks to Noel. In the corner, it's Patterson. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Curry against Schroeder. Shot from 12. Over Smith. Again, Iguodala missing. The Thunder leading by four. Pass to Schroeder. He kicks it to Noel. 
West with some nice D. And this is really good defensive pressure, whether he gets the block or not. No, Greg, you're absolutely right. This is strong defense. It's about making the shooter feel uneasy, and that's what he did. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And had the right idea there in calling for the screen, but he was just slow to get to the spot and didn't get set. Yeah, just a matter of he needs to be there a split second earlier. Not much room for error when you're setting a screen. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Corbers checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Cousins is checked in. Out to Smith. Noel a screen on Curry. The shot's good from Smith. That's his first triple of the second period. Third of the game. Warriors trail by seven. And here is Curry. Eight points for him. Pick by West. Thompson for three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his ninth assist in the game now. Schroeder dishes to Noel. Kicks it to Smith. Schroeder outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Golden State's gotten it going from downtown in the second quarter. They're three of three on three-pointers. The dish to Curry. Back to Thompson. Cousins with a screen on Noel. Thompson for three. And another three for Golden State. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Listen, the Warriors are an incredible offensive juggernaut. But the reality is this team has been a championship caliber team because of their defense. The versatility of Draymond Green helps contribute to a team that led the league in opponent's field goal percentage and led the league last season in blocks and steals. Truly incredible on that end. Rest outside. Cousins with a screen on Noel. Here's Curry again, Golden State. Well, I'm not sure there's anyone in the NBA who understands how to create space more than Steph Curry. Really good job using the screen there. And for the Warriors, what they do on defense is impressive on their own. A lot of switching and rotations that they are able to get away with because of their personnel. Correct, Kev. What makes this team work is they have a group of players who can all cover multiple positions. The Warriors can turn that switch and close out games because of absolutely suffocating defense. He dishes it to West. Back to Curry. Picked by West. Curry with it. Guarded now by Patrick Patterson. Off the mark with the little step back Johnny. Oklahoma City leading by four. Smith kicks to Corver. Pass to Schroeder. Screen by Smith. Dishes it to Noel. This one for three. Patterson can't get it to go. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading. Perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Back to Curry. They set the pick. Cousins with a screen on Smith. They double team Curry. And the bucket counts. Three points here. And, and Cousins just relentless at attacking down low. The Warriors have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. For the Thunder, Paul George comes in for Smith, and Russell Westbrook subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Kevin Durant comes in for Andre Iguodala. Thompson against Westbrook. Warriors with the rebound. Cousins has got three rebounds now in this one. Outside Curry. Green with a screen for Curry. They double-team Curry. It's West. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Wow. My goodness. Is there anything better than watching Westbrook hammer at home? My goodness gracious, Russell. And that was Under Armour bringing you that replay. Unleash chaos. And what a play it was.
And finished off by Westbrook. Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Mm. Maybe that'll be a springboard for them. Yeah, a big change of possession in a tight ball game. We'll see if they've seized the momentum. Guys, listen, the defense was totally invisible on that three-point attempt. Nobody even in his zip code. Outside, George. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got six assists now in the game. Curry against Westbrook. Curry passes to Thompson. Thompson is double. On the wing, Green. Offline with his three. Oklahoma City leading by five. George with the ball. 22 points for him. Back to Corver. Takes the three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Russell Westbrook with his head on a swivel. He understands where his guys are at all times. Green with a screen on Westbrook. Screen by Cousins. It's Curry with the drive. And it's Cousins. That time on the assist by Curry. Cousins has got five points in the quarter. I don't think the pass could be better placed. That's a great assist. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his first foul. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Adams, he's checked in for Patterson. And Golden State also making a change. Yurepko's checked in. Noel was screen on green. Here's the lob to Adams. I'll tell you, Adams becoming more and more of a target on the offensive end. Superb at sinking shots close to the rim because of his size. Green, the screen. Durant dishes to Curry. Green with a screen for Curry. Down low, off the pick. And Green puts it in. Green's got 10. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. And George kicks to Westbrook. Oklahoma City moving it around. Corver, no luck. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. If they increase the tempo, they got a chance at a two for one. Right, you can't walk it up the court right now. You've got to act fast and be aggressive. Well, he's taking a lot of pressure off the other players right now with how well he's shooting it. George against Green. Now the pass to Cousins. Green, the screen, for three, Durant, good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Seven points for Kevin Durant. Boy, the three-point stroke is just so effortless by Kevin Durant. It is a thing of beauty. George, that's a two-pointer, and it would have counted had it fallen. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Oklahoma City leading by five. You think about what Coach Billy Donovan has had to deal with in terms of his roster makeup in his tenure in Oklahoma City. You begin with Kevin Durant and Serge Ibaka. Then you lose both those guys after your first year. And now you add Paul George. Through it all, Billy has been able to keep this team competitive. Inside, it's Patterson and Adams. J.R. Smith out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's George in at the small forward position. That's Billy Donovan's five as we get going here in the second half. Curry with it. Westbrook picks him up. Curry against Westbrook. Cousins with a screen on Westbrook. Off the pick. And Cousins throws it down. Well, at this point, if you get the ball into Steph Curry's hands, good things will happen. He's toying with the defense out of the pick and roll. And for Donovan, he came into a situation where success was expected. Not easy for a college transition coach. But at this point, he has overachieved. Well, you certainly think that Billy Donovan deserves a ton of credit for the Thunder's success last season. Without Kevin Durant, the team easily could have fallen out of the playoff picture. But this guy helps the team move to a different style on offense and continue to keep the team competitive. Cousins with a screen on West feeds it to Green. Screen by Cousins inside. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. 
Cousins has got four this quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And Westbrook, here we go. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now, six for eight on the night. Russell Westbrook, because of his athleticism, such a handful down deep. Green, the screen. Green with a screen for Curry. Here's Cousins. Off target with his three. Oklahoma City leading by six. The feed to Westbrook. Oh, and the jam by Westbrook. Well, just the ability to have the kind of vision that Paul George has, exceptional at getting his teammates the basketball. Curry passes to Durant. And Cousins kicks to Durant. Green with a screen on George. Here's Durant. <laughs> And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And something that surprised me last season was the play of Kevin Durant on the defensive end. He, he's always been, Doris, considered a solid defender. But he seemed to make a, a bigger jump last year in how he impacted that end of the floor. Well, let's remember, Kev, that there was so much talk about who would protect the rim for the Golden State Warriors when Kevin Durant came aboard. Turns out he was their rim protector. This guy has a career high in blocks and formed an incredible duo with Draymond Green up front. Just great stuff. Green with a screen on George. Curry is inside. Defended by George. It's good, and the Thunder lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Stephen Curry. Smith dishes to Adams. Screen by Adams. Or three. Westbrook. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. George has got his seventh assist in the game. Warriors trail by seven. Now Curry. He's got 12 to the middle. Paul George with the steal. Smith with a wide open look. Here's Adams. The shot. No good. Nice D from Cousins. The Warriors have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Thompson with it. Now Smith defending. Passes it to Durant. From deep, Green, that one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. 80% shooting to start the third, four for five. Westbrook against Thompson. Westbrook drives in. Chalk up two there. Westbrook's got nine points now in the quarter. A defender in his grill, and Russell says, let me shake you off, sir. I've got to score this. Cousins with a screen on Westbrook. They double-team Curry. Cousins, no one around him. Poke loose, and it goes out, out of bounds. bounds. That one is off Smith. Raymond Felton, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Dennis Schroeder comes in for Russell Westbrook, and then for Golden State. David West, he's checked in for Cousins. Bell comes in for Green, and it's Igudala in for Durant. Curry kicks to Thompson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Thompson's got 29 in the game. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. Yeah, and if he can stay hot from out there, his three-point shot could be the tool they use to win this game. With some arc, and it's sent back by West. Curry with it. Now guarded by Schroeder for the tie. Curry's shot is off. Oklahoma City leading by three. And David West gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Patterson a screen on Bell. Here's Felton. West with the block. And they get it back. Yep, that one goes. Warriors trail by five. Iguodala outside. West up on top. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Smith against Iguodala. And the Warriors tack on two more. Well, that's great touch from Andre Iguodala. Fearless and efficient. Love it. Schroeder kicks to Patterson. West with the steal. 
Curry against Schroeder. Curry passes to Bell. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. And it's now only a one-point Oklahoma City lead. Schroeder against Curry. Schroeder dishes to Smith. Patterson a screen on Bell. Here's Smith. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Andre Iguodala. And Smith needs to continue to work on improving his shot from the free throw line. Well, I'll tell you, for a long time, the reputation of J.R. Smith, not ideal. But, uh, you know, a little bit of poor decision-making, unfocused defensively. He's really matured. He's gotten better on and off the court. Yurebko's checked in for the Warriors. Curry kicks it to West. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And J.R. Smith, a natural offensive. But Doris's defense has come a long way, too. Amazing what winning titles can do. You start to appreciate what it takes to be successful. And you go back to his offense, though. A very good three-point shooter, even under great defensive pressure. And he makes the first. And the Thunder making a switch here. Noel's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Oklahoma City's gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Screen by Adams. Beyond the arc. And it's J.R. Smith with the three. Smith's got five points now in the quarter. And really, Smith is always looking to fire as soon as he touches the ball. The D has to be more aware of that quick trigger. Felton against Iguodala. Wes setting the pick for Iguodala. Jumper off the screen, and he gets that one to go off the front iron. And West, a knockdown mid-range shooter. You just assume it's going in whenever it leaves his hands. Adams with it. West picks him up. Adams, the pass to Schroeder. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on David West. Doris, you were born in New York, became the first female analyst to ever call a Knicks game. Talk about the emotions that night, having traveled that incredible journey. You know, Kev, it was both magical and nerve-wracking. You know, I grew up a Knicks fan when there was a healthy Bernard King, and the league had absolutely nothing for him when he was doing work on the low post. Hubie Brown was an idol of mine. Uh, but it was also nerve-wracking to be the first woman to sit in Clyde Frazier's seat. It was uh, sort of awe-inspiring and a ton of fun. Felton kicks to Adams. Screen by Adams. Inside. Back to Corver. Lock at six. Schroeder against Curry. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. And it's six points for Dennis Schroeder. Iguodala dishes to Curry. Bell with a screen on Corver. Back to Curry. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Curry's got six here in this quarter. Well, one thing I think that goes overlooked about Steph Curry is his finishing ability on the interior. He's had seasons, Kev, where the high percentage from close range is something you'd only expect from a big man. Throws it down despite the man right in his face. A chance here for a three-point play. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. It couldn't have come at a better time. With the score being as close as it is, he had to make that play. Thompson, he's checked in for David West. The shot by Thompson, no good. Oh, he'd like to have that one back. He almost never get that wide open a look. Schroeder with the ball, and it's Iguodala picking him up. Schroeder against Curry. Schroeder passes to Adams. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Adams has got eight. I'll tell you, he takes the window of opportunity and delivers a nice pass into the post. Curry kicks to Thompson. Thompson is double. Here's Bell. Yurebko dishes to Curry. Jurebko at the elbow. He feeds it to Bell. Pass to Yurebko. Three-pointer, and he's good on the three ball. 
Well, he's got wonderful touch from deep, right? And with his size, a defender has a hard time even bothering him on the perimeter. Schroeder kicks to Noel. Screen by Adams. And it's Corver off the drive. Nobody near Schroeder. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Igudala left side. And Dennis Schroeder hits the whistle that time. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. George has checked in for the Thunder. Thompson passes to Igudala. Back to Thompson. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Five to shoot. Here's Curry. It's hauled in by George. George has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He kicks to Schroeder. A 15-footer again, Oklahoma City. He's made obvious improvements since the half, really getting into an offensive groove. There's the dish to Yurepko. Here's Bell. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. There's a screen by Noel. Adams dishes to Schroeder. Poked loose. On the wing, Igudala. He has five. That one goes in. Now just a two-point Thunder lead. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. Felton kicks to George. Shot on the wing, and good as it just snugs right down through the net. How pretty is the shooting motion of Paul George? Pulls the trigger with no hesitation. He owns the mid-range. Curry passes to Thompson. Igudala wide open. That three off the mark. The Thunder leading by four. To the middle. And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. Also Westbrook in for Raymond Felton. Then for the Warriors, Raymond Green. He's checked in for Bell. And Durant subbed in for Andre Igudala. Here's George. 26 points for him. Kicks it out to Schroeder. Hits it from three-point range. Schroeder's got 14 points for the game. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Green, the screen. That's it, and the Oklahoma City lead is cut down to four again on the bucket from Kevin Durant. It doesn't matter. Here's Curry setting the floor for the Warriors. Offense and defense with Durant and Draymond at the three and the four. Steph Curry's out there with Yurebko and it's Cousins in at the five. Now Yurebko outside Curry. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. They get Russell Westbrook. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they save the layup. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. I think it's best to avoid putting this guy at the line if possible, but that's obviously easier said than done. They double-team Curry, and that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Well, that's an example of two teammates on a different page. They're both looking at each other like, hey, what, what was going on there? The Thunder leading by six. Screen by Adams. Here's Schroeder. Second shot opportunity, and there's the nice layup by Adams. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. They double-team Curry. Green. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Adams has got his eighth rebound here tonight. No one covering. 23 points for Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is as explosive an offensive player as there is in the NBA, and he's got his rhythm now. 
Right side Green from the arc. That doesn't go either for Green. For Oklahoma City, they've gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And Patterson kicks to Westbrook. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, you see Russell Westbrook now, and you just assume he's going to put up a triple-double. I don't think we thought we'd ever see somebody average that for an entire season. But what an incredible accomplishment last year and turned the NBA upside down with that feat. J.R. Smith's checked in for Dennis Schroeder. Green, the screen. Green with a screen for Curry. Five on the clock. Here's your Repco. And the Warriors miss again. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Here's Smith. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. Well, you really like to see Smith go to work inside there, always looking to expand on his game. Durant dishes to Cousins. Durant against Patterson. Durant kicks to Cousins. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. As great a scorer as Kevin Durant is, he is an unselfish player and takes great pride in getting his teammates a good look. In the corner, it's Patterson. But they'll get another chance. Patterson a screen on Curry. Goes back up. And again, J.R. Smith. Smith's got nine points here in the second half. Timeout, and they've timeout. gotten very aggressive on the offensive Sorry. glass here in the second half, getting a lot of second chance points. Timeout called the Warriors. Well, the Thunder are not one of the best shooting teams from outside. We know that. They know their strength of their offense, Doris, lies in their ability to attack the rim and get shots in the paint. Right, because you have to consider the Thunder last year were last in the NBA in three-point percentage, yet second in the league in points in the paint. So when they are able to get inside on a team, that is when they are at their most dangerous. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last timeout. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. we got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. Curry's shot is off. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. George passes to Westbrook. Double team on Westbrook. Adams down low. Cousins is there. Nice D from Cousins. Here's Green. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. What can you say about the playmaking ability of Draymond Green? He has evolved, Doris, into a point forward for one of the most high-powered offenses in NBA history. All right, Draymond Green makes this system work. He's got tremendous vision. He can handle the basketball, can create for his teammates, and most importantly, he's an unselfish guy who wants his teammates to score. And the Warriors making a change here. Thompson's checked in, and so he hits both. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Smith outside. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. George against Durant. Adams wide open. That falls. Nice speed that time from George. 12 points for Steven Adams. Curry kicks to Green. Pass to Cousins. It's stolen by Adams. For three, Smith. It's good, and that takes him to 77% shooting this game. 10 for 13. Oh, great ball movement there. Outside Curry. Green against George. Six to shoot. Curry kicks to Cousins. It's stolen by Adams. Here's Smith. Got a piece of it. Warriors trail by 16. 
Cousins dishes to Curry. Now here's Cousins. Outside Green. Screen by Cousins. Durant for three. The putback. Westbrook pulls it in. Here's Oklahoma City now. They're on a 17 to 5 run here. Wide open shot is on the money. Westbrook's got 27. Love Westbrook's ability to shoot it off the dribble. The stop, the rise, the fire. He makes it look easy. Westbrook against Curry. Left side Durant fires the three. Knocks down the three ball. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Smith the pass to Westbrook. In the corner, it's Patterson. Good. A nice assist from Westbrook. And the Thunder lead by 18. Well, the nice rise and fire on the jumper. Patterson taking advantage of the space given. The screen from Thompson. Curry against Westbrook. Let's a floater go. Curry can't get it to go. Yeah, coming off that screen, wide open, just can't convert. And I think, Greg, that's exactly what you want. The screen was solid. The execution just fell a little bit short on the shot. Outside, Green. Kicks to Thompson. Cousins with a screen on Smith. Here's Thompson. Got it from 16 feet. Thompson's got 31. Clay Thompson so adept at using the pick and roll to his advantage. Takes what the defense gives him. Thompson against Westbrook. He dishes it to Patterson. Patterson, the screen. Five to shoot. The 11-footer. And the shot no good. A bit short. Warriors trail by 19. Curry on the wing. Over Westbrook, again, Golden State. Well, the defense is doing its job. It's just not affecting Curry. How good is this guy on the offensive end? Smith kicks to Westbrook. Over Thompson, and it's Westbrook. That time on the assist by Smith. And that's now 29 points for Russell Westbrook. Golden State's gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Outside, Green. Durant against Patterson. Releases from 15. Second chance shot. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by George. George against Durant. Now here's Curry. He's guarded closely. And Cousins kicks to Durant. Green, the screen, dishes it to Curry. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Durant's got six assists in the game. Boy, the ability to pull the trigger so quickly. Steph Curry doesn't even appear to set himself. If it's a clean catch, he's getting that shot off. Back to George. Let's it go with a three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. He tore it up from downtown in the first half. Now hits this one. Dangerous shooter, guys. Curry kicks to Green. Now the pass to Thompson. There's the screen. Here's Cousins. And it's Golden State with another. And with great players, you've got to pick your poison. You'll live with Cousins shooting from mid-range. Patterson a screen on Thompson. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And here's Smith. Feeds it to Westbrook. The Warriors pull it in. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Green against George. Green dishes to Durant. 
Shot clock at six. Green with the ball. Guarded now by Patrick Patterson. He can't get that one. He's trying to make something happen, but obviously been a tough quarter. Screen by Adams. Smith the pass to Westbrook. Oh, good on the triple. That's as good a look as he's going to get beyond the arc, but there are no sure things from that range, even for him. Here's Cousins. The basket good off the assist from Durant. 16 points for DeMarcus Cousins. And just the rugged nature of Cousins getting into the body there offensively. Here's Westbrook. And fouled on the shot, so the bucket counts and a chance for one more here. It feels like that one could be the dagger. Not, not enough time to completely erase this deficit. Well, Greg, it's going to be tough, that's for sure. A shot like that has to devastate the other team. The screen from Thompson. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Another three for Golden State. Doris with defensive rules now allowing teams to play a, a, a sort of soft zone. Does that make it easier to hide bad defensive players on your team? Well, it certainly gives you one avenue. I don't think you can play zone in the NBA for any extended periods because the coaching is too good and the skill level of the players would destroy a zone if you gave a steady diet of it. I do believe, however, that hiding a defensive weakness comes down to personnel. How many can you hide on one particular floor? Somebody's going to get exposed somewhere if there's too many. No doubt. You know, I think the defense is thinking, I don't have to guard him on the line, but that's just a matter of whether he could knock it down, and he does. Westbrook kicks to Smith. Shoots over Curry. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. And that's now 33 points for Smith. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Thunder. If they had to battle for this win, there were times when it looked like it was maybe slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to them. And, and that's a product of their mental toughness. Anytime the floor of the game turned against them, instead of caving, they just dialed it up a notch and were able to pull away. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Russell Westbrook. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Noel's checked in for Steven Adams. Corver comes in for George. And it's Felton in for Russell Westbrook. Passes it to McCaw. Igudala outside. Pick by West. Igudala left side. For the three. Connects from three-point range. Well, Kev, we know Andre Iguodala has proven himself a capable three-point shooter. You've got to show him a measure of respect. Felton with the ball. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. Some